Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades and yep, let's just get into it right now. Bitcoin is back up to $29,413 and after having so much volatility yesterday, coming as low as $25,500, but ultimately closing above this line right here. And I see a lot of people talking about this right now. Yeah, Bitcoin is going, this is the bottom for Bitcoin. You know, we bought them and that's it. And, you know, we're going to go to all time highs. You know, this was just a shakeout and we're going to moon from now on. Now, again, I don't want to poo on everyone's party, but that may not be the case. You know, we, yes, we could have found a temporary bottom, right? All right I just wanted the people to look at the weekly time frame on Market Cipher and remind them of where we are at in the current markets. We still have that, you know, red diamond that we had at 26 and a minus five, right? Money flow is now in the red confirmed. And I've been talking about, about this for many, many weeks saying that once we get into that red money flow, right? And we confirm it on the weekly time frame, we, it, it, it's most likely, you know, with a high degree of certainty uh, going to lead to a big correction in the crypto price. So we've seen in the past that every time that this has done this, it's also led to a 50% correction in the, in the crypto markets. Now you could also say that even on the monthly time frame, well, I don't know what happened to my chart there. On the monthly time frame, every time we've had a red X on the monthly candle, we've had a big correction followed through in the coming months. So right here, I guess you could say one, two, three, three months after that or uh, four months, if you will, depending if you count the month that you start, you had a big, a big correction right there, coming down at least 50%. Same thing right here, a red X on the monthly time frame. Boom, another 50% correction there. Now we just got our first, you know, monthly candle uh, <laughs> with a red X. And again, there's obviously still 18 days. We, we haven't confirmed anything yet. Uh, there's a lot of speculation left to, to, left to be had, but I will, you know, in my opinion, I think we, it is very possible, very likely that we get a correction down to 20,000 at a minimum, right? There's a lot of people talking about that, uh, that, that this is this that is going to be the bottom for Bitcoin. But depending on what happens in the traditional markets and what starts to unravel in the coming months, in the coming weeks, uh, Bitcoin could go potentially much even lower than that. So don't don't bet the farm on 20k and that's the bottom open a bunch of leverage positions there because you might uh, you might be in, in be in sorry be in for a bad time and right now we can see that ethereum as well coming down all the way down to this bottom target that i've had for a very long time now in the eta2 chart and boom tagging the very bottom of this range and then wicking all the way back up again i think this happened overnight when i was sleeping so obviously didn't get into any trades on eth but if you guys would enter some longs right here you'd be doing pretty well for yourself you'd be up about 16 percent right now with a bit of leverage push it to maybe 160 percent with 10x leverage but again in such a volatile market it is difficult to make some trades i will i will give you that but for the time being you know we might have found a local bottom right here for bitcoin on the daily time frame once again a nice little green dot right here nothing is confirmed yet the 12 hour looking okay you know we did have that manipulation x and now we have a 20 and a minus three so let's see what happens and it looks it does look okay that we've closed above this major support line which is a 28 800 which is the previous lows right here a big wick there a big wick there and we tagged it once again but we went right through it you know we're just wicking again no daily closes under there so if we do pump from here it would make sense because the traditional markets are in the green right now in the overnight markets uh, i believe the russell 2000 up 1.21 percent nasdaq up 1.6 uh, today was basically a flat day in the markets not, not not that much selling i think we were in the red for a little bit on the nasdaq but we ended up closing uh break even or i guess you say in the green by the six basis points which is basically nothing but overall uh, an okay day in the markets especially with the the tech stocks tech stocks big recovery in the tech stocks big big rally and a massive massive sell-off in the miners which is very i'm very happy to see because this the accumulation phase is starting in my opinion for my gold gold mining stocks and silver stocks and especially the commodities themselves but we'll get into that in the later part of the video right now we're going to cover 
Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and all the other altcoins, which a lot of people seem to like. So we're going to keep covering all altcoins from now on. <laughs> I know you guys really, really like that. We'll even talk about Luna for a little bit. A lot of a uh, lot of uh, drama and uh, news coming out there. But yeah, right now, you know, if we do come up, you're going to see some resistance coming in potentially around 35,100, which is the previous, you know, range from the previous uh, resistance, or I guess you could say support from this range. So I expect it to flip as a resistance if if we get to this this level right here, which would be let's measure right here. I believe a 19% pump. So not a bad trade overall. If we're going to hold this trade that we are in at the moment. Uh, if we are in a trade, are we in a trade? I don't know. You'd have to join the discord to see my trades there. But yeah, overall, it's looking okay on these charts. If Yeah, basically same chart right here. If we do come back up, we're going to see some resistance around 35 to 38,000. But yeah, overall, pretty crazy day. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin Hashermans. Nothing has crossed yet. Uh, maybe once we get back up to these levels, maybe we're going to cross then. But again, again, we have to get over that $30,000 level, which is quite a big hurdle, I will admit. Uh, we got rejected today, I believe, trying to get above it. Where's my chart? Where's that, where's that chart I always use? Uh, I believe it's this one right here. There we go. So Bitcoin has to get over 30000 once again. Uh, again, the daily time frame is extremely oversold. And it, it, we should get a relief rally ever, soon. So let's see what happens then uh, let's cover a little bit of the altcoins i know you guys love the altcoins let's take a look at luna now luna is a very 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 sad uh, case at the moment because i apparently apparently i've not confirmed this i haven't looked at any any other resources but apparently uh eight people have killed themselves in suicide over the luna market crashing probably because they had their life savings in it and luna is down basically 99 percent at this point uh, they've printed their token and or i guess you could say minted their token into oblivion uh, luna has uh, i believe before the market crashed they had 300 million tokens 300 million luna tokens i could be i could be wrong i'm just reading this on coin market cap right now and right now they have gone from 3 million tokens ish in circulating supply to 6,377 billion tokens in circulating supply. So they have be effectively diluted all the current token holders. So if you bought at these levels, your tokens are basically worthless because there's so many of them on the market right now. Basically, same concept for diluting shareholders in the stock markets. If, if you're holding a certain stock and the they issue out a bunch of shares. Your current shares are going to get diluted, which in a case is really, really bad. But yeah, overall, I don't see this project recovering right now. And I mean, I, I'm not an expert on Luna. And it's just, just a moment of silence for all those people that lost their lives over this, uh, this token right here. Yeah. But uh, overall, let's move on. Let's take a look at XMR. XMR again. I was taking a look at this bottom range right here. And you know we did we did wick below it during that market volatility, but so far uh, Monero is back up 13%. If we do come back up, in my opinion, we're gonna see some resistance coming around 177. You might even see it before that. You might you could even lower your your range from this previous wick right here. But in my opinion, the best range is gonna be around 177.50 cents. You could probably open some shorts there because in my opinion, I think we could rally from here, but the rally will be short lived. And you're going to be wanting to enter some shorts from there. Ada, you know, up 6% at the moment. This tiny little green candle is 6%. <laughs> if we do come back up, your next resistance bar is going to be around 69 cents from there, which is a previous wick from there. But again, your major resistance, or I, I shouldn't say major, but whoops, what just happened there? What am I doing? Oh, I'm pressing Z instead of shift. There we go. Uh, your bigger resistance is going to be around 74 cents or 75 cents. But yeah, overall, you want to take a look at 69 cents as your first target to short. And you could probably keep adding to your shorts or until these levels. And then we'll probably start to roll over from there. Uh, Bitcoin. We already covered Bitcoin. Let's get back on uh, XRP. XRP, again, I thought this level was going to hold. But again, it didn't prove to hold during that market volatility. You crash right below it. And, you know, right now, if we do start to come back up, 51 cents is going to be your point to enter some shorts from there. Uh, let's take a look at Solana. Solana, you know, my darling, very, I love this token, you know, but overall performing terribly right now after it crashed so much. I guess you could say it's, it's holding support at this previous top right here. 
you can analyze it right there you could zoom in uh, the candles closed above it so you know a rally from this point you might get up to 57 which would be a very nice rally of 30 percent obviously these tokens can rally pretty hard especially the altcoins after being punished so much uh, that's which makes me uh, take a look at the bitcoin dominance right here which is at the moment hitting this range right here which is that resistance so if the altcoins do rally you're going to see a uh, not a big drop but you will see a drop in the bitcoin dominance as uh, the bitcoin you know bitcoin loses market share and uh in the total market cap so yeah this, this is it is maybe possible that we could get a pretty big uh altcoin rally i mean i wouldn't say big but a, you know, a short term altcoin rally which would uh, coincide with uh, bitcoin cash having a nice day today too i believe bitcoin cash let's take a look on the one hour i believe it bottomed out around 164 i'm not sure if there was any support there i, I don't really take a look at bitcoin cash not big not too much of a big fan of it but you could say uh, right now it's holding this level of support right here i'm not sure where it started to find support 156 basically the, around the previous low right here but yeah overall if you see some resistance coming in sorry your next point of resistance is going to be coming in around 179 and 80 cents uh, i know it lets me let me remind myself which which tokens people like in the discord i know there's a lot of tokens that people do like ah uh, there you go adam adam finally finding some support around eight dollars and 92 cents like i previously outlined you're probably gonna go see probably gonna find some support around this area and if luckily finally it did and thank god for that because if not you know it would be another free fall but overall it's up five percent at the moment uh, if we do rally from here in my opinion your next res you know you're gonna probably see a little bit of choppy resistance coming in around ten dollars and ninety cents after that you want to take a look at fourteen dollars and seventy six cents but you're probably going to see some resistance around these previous lows right here let's just make a line for you guys and let me know if i've updated uh this for you guys in the discord i believe i have but i don't think the links are working at the moment so i'll just try to get back on that and try to get it working for you guys matic not holding the support at the moment uh, we are below it in my opinion i guess you could measure it down to this wick but i would probably keep it at this this level right here and if we do come up we'd have to break this resistance to get back to probably the probably the previous dollar which would be a very very big rally for uh, matic but i don't i don't think we're gonna get there in my opinion and yeah overall i think that's everything that we have to cover today uh big big moves in the markets uh, maybe we'll take a look at binance coin binance coin you're probably gonna rally to potentially right here at these levels i keep going on and on and on but it's just for you guys i know you guys like this stuff so we'll take a look at 134 is going to be your next level of resistance after that you're going to take a look at this major trend line right here which is going to be around 159 and then you're probably going to see some resistance coming in around there which would be you know a good point to short in my opinion uh so you know it'll be another 20 percent rally in the in the crypto markets but what you really want to pay attention to is the traditional markets and finally yeah gold coming down i'll just end the video quickly i don't know how long i've been going on for uh if gold I, I you know i've been talking about gold coming down for many many weeks now when it was up here around the 2000 1900 level i said we got to cool off gold needs to relax a bit and even come down to retest this previous major trend line which it finally did today 1820 was finally tagged we started accumulating some gold and silver positions today and if gold does bounce from these levels you know in my opinion i think gold is a is in probably the most bullish scenario possible you know we are headed towards stagflation and you know the fed doesn't know how to how to deal with the recession except money printing so you tell me what they're gonna do and silver coming down as well coming down to 20 dollars and 70 80 81 cents probably the, uh, the more volatile assets out of all the commodity out of all the commodities but yeah overall i think silver is going to be a very very big winner as well probably bigger than uh than gold in my opinion i think gold is very very safe and very good but uh, overall silver can outperform uh gold by uh by a long shot anyways guys thanks for listening you guys have a wonderful day make some really good trades and i'll talk to you guys later peace if you guys want to see my trades you guys can join the discord links in the description and yeah 